Hello, my name is Daniel Yuk. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate you, your time, and your support. In today's video, I wanna share with you what overworking skin looks like. By the end of this video, you will be well acquainted and know when to spot overworking of any skin, whether it's fake or human skin. However, should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring my bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok, all under Daniel Yuck. I would appreciate the support over there as well. With that being said, let's get on into this. I wanna start with some main reasons of overworking of skin, then I wanna get into some symptoms, and then we can get into how to prevent overworking any skin. Some of the main reasons that I've experienced when it comes to overworking of skin is improper technique we may be moving too fast we may be moving too slow we can be going over a spot way too many times so just in general being out of tune with proper technique is one of the main reasons why an artist can go about overworking skin some more main reasons why an artist can overwork the skin is they are naturally more heavy-handed which may be a little bit more aggressive on the skin another reason why an artist may overwork skin is because they're simply not comfortable with the gear that they chose to use. Let's say, for example, we have an artist that specializes within traditional tattoos. Those typically require round shaders, bolder lines, so to speak. So the needles are going to be heavier and line weight. Let's say that same artist goes to a three round liner, but they're not comfortable with that sort of needle configuration and they approach it the same way they do as traditional style tattoos. There's going to be some variations, fluctuations and inconsistency within the work as we do need to adapt and apply a three round liner differently than we would use to apply a 14 round shader. As we do need to adapt from, let's say, a 14 round shader to a three round liner, there is a tremendous difference within that line weight and they are to be used differently. It can be moving too slow, moving too fast, going over a spot too many times, being rough or aggressive, improper technical application, and not comfortable with the gear that we are using are some of the main causes that I've experienced when it comes to overworking skin. Some symptoms that we may experience when we overwork skin are but not limited to some of these symptoms such as raised skin, blowouts, scarring, textured healing, more pain for the client, and or excessive bleeding. Keep in mind, there's more symptoms, but these are some of the main symptoms that I've experienced whenever I see overworked skin. Not only that, when we overwork skin, the healing process on human skin tends to be a lot more lengthy and the client becomes a lot more prone to infection when we tend to overwork human skin. It's very important to note that we can overwork skin with any size needle configuration with any machine setup. It doesn't matter if we're using a coil or a pin style tattoo machine, it does not matter. We can overwork human skin or fake skin on multiple fronts with any setup that we are using. It is also very important to note that every single artist is going to have a different amount of time and a different number of passes when an artist is working on fake skin and or human skin. Everything that I'm talking about here in this video can be applied to fake skin. Everything I'm talking about in this video can be applied to human skin. It's very important to understand that, that every single artist has a different amount of time and a different amount of passes that we get when we are working on skin. The reason for this fluctuation is because every artist works differently. Some artists naturally have a lighter hand while others have a heavier hand. Some artists prefer to run at higher volts while others prefer to, uh, prefer to run at lower voltages. Other artists prefer to use round shader needles and others prefer to use round liners. It is different for every single artist. For example, let's say we have an artist that's going to do a full sleeve tattoo using only a three round liner. Let's say by the time that they are done, if we don't notice any apparent swelling, any apparent redness to the skin, if the skin doesn't have any sort of textures or raises going on, if there's nice, clean, smooth shading and saturation in all of the right places, more than likely that artist has mastered their fundamentals and they are very comfortable with the gear that they are using, producing quality results. 
Another example, let's say we have an artist that chooses to use a coil machine, which tend to hit a bit harder than rotary or pin style tattoo machines. Let's say they're using a coil with a five round liner. Let's say if this artist specific isn't used to such a small needle configuration, then we tend to see more redness to the skin, more swelling. The tattoos have a sort of choppy scratched appearance to them. What this would tell me is that the artist wasn't either comfortable with the gear that you were using or that they were using or or somewhere along the way that they weren't comfortable or have worked on their fundamentals enough. I want to show you a visual demonstration here of what it's like to overwork skin. And again, when it comes to overworking skin, it really is going to be on a per artist basis. Everyone is going to reach the level of overworking at a different pace. Some artists may reach it really quick. Some artists may never reach overworking. It really comes down to mastering the fundamentals. A lot of it does have to do with using our eyes and understanding if we're seeing a lot of redness or swelling, knowing when to move on to the next part is also a crucial fundamental to go about avoid overworking skin. I really do feel that the best way to go about preventing overworking any skin, whether it's fake skin or human skin, is to master the fundamentals, master needle depth, master hand speed and voltage, proper needle angles. I do feel like once we set up and start with this sort of foundation, our tattooing career would thrive a lot more than it would have not being familiar with those fundamentals. I'm going to demonstrate the overworking of this little piece of skin right here so that way we can get an idea as to the results that we can expect when we are overworking skin. Where I'm going to begin is I'm going to begin with packing at seven volts and I'm gonna to move too slow. So right off the bat, my voltage is gonna to be too high and I'm gonna be moving too slow. And this is one great way that we can go about overworking skin quickly. I don't have my hand speed and voltage aligned and I don't have my technical application aligned and so therefore we're gonna get overworked results. Let me demonstrate that. I am using a Mast Archer 2 tattoo machine from Dragonhawk and I'm gonna be demonstrating with this 11 mag from CNC. This is a CNC police cartridge. Let's move too slow with my voltage too fast. And let's go ahead and do a little area right here. My voltage is at seven volts. And my technical application is to move this slow. I'm going to remove this area right here. Now, although I may not be necessarily in the realm of overworking, with this sort of technical application, I'm quickly getting to those results. You can see a little bit right here, some texture already starting to form. This right here would prob probably be bleeding a little bit more than this area because if this was human skin, I would have done more damage right here. So again, my, my voltage is high, my hand speed is too slow, so what's happening is the needle is essentially just hitting the same spots over and over and over, and I'm cutting the skin on a microscopic level because of my fundamentals. My fundamentals are not aligned. So therefore, we're going to start seeing those adversities within the results here. So let me clean this off so we can see. Now, we have texture throughout all of this area right here. And you can kind of get the idea when our voltage is too high and our hand speed is too slow. Pushing the needle into the skin, I'm letting just a tip of the needle do the work for me. And there's still a lot of damage being done. So we can imagine that the damage is gonna be greater if I have a heavy hand. So by now, I should have already saturated this area and begin moving on to the next. Let's say for example, I wasn't at the correct needle depth, so therefore I didn't deposit the ink into the right layer. Now I have to go back to saturate this area to avoid patchy results. So this is where overworking would begin to take place. So now the skin has had enough already for this session. I'm gonna now go back over it and I'm not acknowledging and I'm not paying attention to the skin. And right here is essentially, I feel where the overworking happens. So now we've crossed over from breaking the skin open to damaging the skin now. And now we're gonna start seeing textured results, maybe even swelling and a lot of redness and definitely more bleeding. So you can see now I'm really working this skin here. 
and those are the results. We have a lot of like textures. It's not a smooth finish anymore. You can see this area is a lot chewed up compared to these surrounding areas over here. This little area got chewed up and beaten up really quickly because of my technical application. Let me show you here the results. So you can see when I kind of open the skin here, all of those textures is what I'm talking about. So all of those openings right there would essentially be open skin. And this kind of crossed over from a tattoo more so into a wound, I would say. But that is because I wasn't familiar with the technical application that I was using. I was moving far too slow and running way too fast to apply any sort of saturation correctly. This right here is a direct result from improper technical application. Once again, I was moving too slow and my voltage was way too high. I'm sure a lot of us want to know what happens if we go too deep or have a heavy hand when we're tattooing on skin. Basically overworking skin with a heavy hand would look something like this. So I'm going to leave my voltage at 7 volts here to get my points across. And I'm going to come over here next to this area that we just did and I'm going to move with a rough aggressive heavy hand. So this again comes down to not being familiar with my technical application. And you can hear the difference too. You can see my introduction to the skin was brutal. I just simply drove it in there and began going to work on it here. You're gonna notice that my needle is snagging quite a bit, but that's because I'm being forceful with my deposit. I'm really putting ink in there. And on top of that, my voltage is way too high. So therefore, I'm reaching a level of saturation really quickly, but I'm also crossing over into a wound territory as well very quickly. So this right here is also improper application. This right here is way too rough for any skin to handle, whether it's fake skin or human skin. You can see my needles are snagging just simply because I'm really digging the needle in there. Let me go ahead and show you some close up results here of aggressive hand speed and voltage and aggressive application. Please keep in mind that we only went over this area a couple of times versus this area right here. This area we slowly worked up to that. This area right here was only a couple of passes and we got the same textured wounded results. I want to go over this area a few more times with aggressive passes just to see what happens to this fake skin here. So let's try this again here. Same spot, same voltage, same aggressive approach. We're just going to re-hit this spot again a couple of more times with this aggressive approach just to see the results that we get here. So again, if we're moving too fast and we're not really mindful of our technical application, that's a one of the quickest ways to get to overworking of skin. One thing about this is if this was a human, they're now more prone to infection. They're also now experiencing a lot more pain and their tattoos definitely not gonna heal the way that they think it is. Here is a close up look at these results that we just demonstrated. This one up here is where my voltage is too high and my hand speed is too slow. Those are the results that we got. There is a lot of damage going on there. Improper technical application. You can see on this one, this one was where our voltage was pretty high and our approach was really aggressive. We weren't familiar with needle depth or hand speed and voltage and these are the results that we got right here. You can see that this kind of resembles a sort of hamburger like texture. If you ever hear people say you're going to turn skin into hamburger meat, this is essentially what they are referring to. If this was done on human skin, at this point we would experience excessive bleeding, swelling, redness, potential bruising throughout the healing process. We're also making the client more prone to infection as well and we're also putting them through a lot more pain than they needed to have experienced. So just from these two examples, we can see how easy it is to overwork the skin when we aren't comfortable with the gear that we are using and when we don't have the fundamentals down or don't understand the fundamentals. Let me demonstrate where I'm moving too fast for my voltage. So I'm still gonna stay at seven volts here and I'm just simply going to move too quick for my needles to do anything technically correct and we're gonna see the results with that. I'm not really gonna focus on having an aggressive hand. All I'm gonna focus on is moving too quick here. So you can see, even where I'm moving too quick, this naturally has a, an aggressive sort of look to it. This sort of application is really aggressive. Keep in mind, if I'm trying to saturate an area solid black and I'm moving like this, 
this is another good way to overwork the skin quickly. You're gonna see that I'm reaching a level of saturation with many passes over. So I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you get the idea, I lost count already. In order to achieve this saturation right there, which is still patchy at best, as you can see, there's no real sort of saturation going on here, but I've already went over this spot many, many times. This is also another resemblance of improper application. My hand speed is moving way too fast for my needle to do anything technically correct. This is also a great way to get patchy results, especially if we're trying to fill areas that are, should be all saturated. This is a great way to get that sort of patchy saturation going on. If I keep doing this, what we may experience on human skin first is a little bit of redness. After that, we may experience a little bit more of excessive bleeding, and then after that, swelling comes into play. Then we start chewing up the skin like this right here. We get more excessive bleeding. The client starts experiencing more pain. So you can kind of see how quickly this can go downhill when we're not familiar with our technical applications. So let's just see if I just keep doing this and keep doing this we're gonna experience the exact same things that we did over here, but just at a different pace. I may get a few more passes over here than it would have taken over here, but the same thing is still happening. I'm still getting to a place of trauma. When we wanna be doing the exact opposite when we're tattooing, we wanna be causing the least amount of trauma to the skin, whether it's fake or human skin. It really doesn't matter. We still wanna have the same technical caring approach for the skin, even though it is fake. So you can see if I were just to keep repeating this process, although we may be getting saturation, however, I've gone over this about 30 times or so already to achieve this. At this point here, the client is now in excruciating pain. The client's now probably twitching a little bit more fidgety and trying to avoid this area being worked on anymore. So for me personally, even though it doesn't look as damaging as these two right here, this improper technical application is still incorrect. We can still do this a better way with fewer passes. So here we have another side-by-side -side look here, and you can see that there is some skin damage going on there, but more so the results are highly inconsistent. More areas are saturated right here. You can see a lot of patchiness in between. Even though this area took about 30 to 50 overlays here to kind of build up to this saturation, that was one too many passes than what I would feel comfortable doing. I would not feel comfortable doing that many passes, even on fake skin. You can see the results are inconsistent and adverse, and there is now a little bit of textures going on as you can see here. So this first area right here is a direct result of my hand speed being too slow and my voltage being too high. This second area is a direct result of my technical application being too aggressive with high voltage. And this area right here is improper technical application here. I just simply went over this too many times and what's healthy for any tattoo. And that's just in my opinion. These are the direct results. You can see we have beat up, chewed up skin, beat up, wounded, chewed up skin. And then we have very inconsistent, patchy results with chewed up skin. If there's one thing that you've taken from this video, I hope that you can see that it's not necessarily easy to overwork any skin, even if it is fake skin. There is a sort of work up to overworking skin. Let's say if we're overworking skin within our first or second pass, then we may want to work on our fundamentals such as needle depth, hand speed, and voltage, and get real comfortable with different needle angles so that way when we come back, we will be more technically equipped to apply tattoos in a better, healthier manner. When we begin to understand needle depth along with hand speed and voltage, we can keep a better eye on our tattoos and understand that some areas are kind of worked to the max right now and then we can move on to the next area or altogether we will reach the point of where we need to be quicker and correctly without having to do too many passes. That just takes time, we have to slowly build up to that. I would like to demonstrate working the skin in a more healthier manner here. Now I'm going to take my voltage down to 6 volts and I'm going to use just the very tips of my needles to apply some saturation and I'm going to do it the same way that I would on human skin. I'm not going for perfection. What I am doing is trying to get these points across. So I lowered my voltage down to 6 volts and I'm going to get comfortable and I'm going to use the very tips of my needles and I'm gonna keep an eye on them and begin to apply the saturation the way I normally would, which is in small circular motions like so. And 
as you can see here, just being really mindful of my hand speed to my voltage. I'm being really mindful of my needle depth and how much force I'm putting into my, my needle tips, which is next to none. And you can see I'm getting smooth saturation here with no textures or anything. And I've almost reached full saturation with just one single pass as you saw me do there. From here, I could even do a little bit of cross hatching from here to here. And with the same technical application, as you see, and this right here would be completed saturation for this specific part of the design. I can now move on over to the next part and continue with that exact same approach, causing minimal damage to the skin. So we can see just after a couple of passes, I was able to reach a very, very dark level of saturation. These are results that I would be happy with. These are the results that I go for whenever I saturate. My goal when applying a tattoo is to be in and out of the skin as quickly and mindfully as I can. When I say quickly, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna go higher up my voltage and rush a line to get it done faster. What that means is I'm gonna set a comfortable voltage for the setup that I am using, and I'm gonna apply the tattoo in the manner that it needs to be applied. Sometimes the slow is fast and fast, is slow what that means is I would rather tattoo and apply the areas right the first time than have to go back and keep building them up causing more damage and overworking the skin further so here are some varying results all of these three right here are demonstrations of overworking the skin and improper application where this one right here is resembling what a healthier application looks like without overworking skin just a quick recap, this is a direct result of moving too slow with the voltage too fast. This is a direct result of aggressive technical application. This is a direct result of where I'm moving too fast for my hand speed and voltage. And this right here is a technical application that resembles proper technical application. This last one right here, I had all of my fundamentals aligned. I had my hand speed right with my voltage. I had my needle depth correct. And you can see we caused minimal damage to the skin. There's not really any sort of textures as you see on this one right here. Going on right here, this one was applied with more mindfulness. This one was applied with that technical application in mind. The entire time that I applied in this specific area, I was focused on my needle depth and I was focused on aligning my hand speed to my voltage with a soft touch to it. We don't need much pressure at all to break open the skin. Before we conclude this video, one thing that I also want to be noted is that it is not necessarily easy to overwork skin. Again, whether it's fake skin or human skin, the way that we overwork skin is not knowing the fundamentals such as needle depth and hand speed and voltage, proper needle angles, or just not being comfortable with the gear that we are using. So if we find ourselves overworking skin often, whether it's fake or human skin, more than likely we need to head back to the chop block and refocus on the basics here such as needle depth Depth, hand speed and voltage and get comfortable with the gear that we are using. It's a far better practice to get familiar with these improper technical applications than it is to guess what overworking the skin would be. What that means is once we get familiar and master the fundamentals such as needle depth and hand speed and voltage and angles, we're going to naturally be able to spot overwork skin and avoid any sort of problems that could arise when we overwork skin. So I would say that there's really no way around knowing when you're overworking skin as opposed to going through the motions, learning the fundamentals, and understanding when you're overworking skin and what that felt like when you were overworking skin. So that way you can find a resolution to that problem. It is very important to note that we can't really look at every single artist and know when they are overworking the skin because it's very, very difficult to tell what voltage an artist is working at. It's also very, very, very difficult if not next to impossible to tell if an artist is aggressive unless it's showing within the tattoo as they do it. If we see artists that have like really red tattoos when they're done or if there's a lot of swelling within their tattoos, more than likely they have a more heavy hand and a more aggressive approach. I really do feel the only way that we'd be able to spot if an artist is overworking skin is to know what we are looking for and to know what we are looking for when it comes to overworking skin comes down to knowing the fundamentals such as needle depth, 
hand speed and voltage angling like the back of our hand. We had to have that mastered in order for us to completely avoid overworking skin. There really is no way around it but through it by simply learning the fundamentals and mastering them. That'll conclude this video here. I do hope that this information you can find useful and apply to your tattooing on your end. Should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring my bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube. I have Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok all under Daniel Yuck. I would appreciate the support over there as well. With that being said, I thank you for your time and I appreciate your support. Have a great day.